Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shahnawaz Khan, Assistant Professor, School of Life Sciences, B.S. Abdul Rahman, Krishnan Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. Today I am going to present my research entitled with the exploring the role of autophagy pathway during the saline stress in rice, Oriza sativa L. So firstly, I would like to introduce you what is an autophagy. So autophagy term has been coined by the two Greek words auto that means self and phagins means to eat. Finally, it is called autophagy. Autophagy is a highly regulated cellular degradation and recycling process conserved from the yeast to more complex eukaryotes. Different definitions of the autophagy has been given by the different researchers. So in context of the plant autophagy, we, if we go back to the timeline of the autophagy process and its discovery. So the autophagy research was started in the 1955 with the discovery of the lysosome. In 1962, there was one scientist, his name was Christian Duduwe from the Rockefeller University. He coined the term autophagy and he discovered the autophagy pathway in yeast. For his work, he was awarded with the Nobel Prize in 1974. Yoshinori Oshubi a Japanese cell biologist to receive the Nobel Prize in the Physiology or Medicine in 2016 for his pioneering discoveries in the field of autophagy. His work revolutionized our understanding of this fundamental cellular process and its crucial role in the various aspects of life and diseases. mechanism in the plants so as immobile organisms plants are subjected to various environmental stresses such as the nutrient deficiency heat stress salt stress dot stress cold stress and the pathogen infection so because of these stresses can seriously impact the normal plant growth and physiology so plants have evolved a complex set of regulatory mechanism allowing them to adapt to adverse conditions including the autophagy. So the autophagy mechanism is less explored in the plants. It is, it is now thought that the autophagy is present in all eukaryotes. Saline stress or salinity is a significant abiotic challenge. Soil salinity is a major abiotic factor that limit the crop yield. Globally, about 900 million hectares of land were estimated to be saline and more than 30% of the irrigated crops were salt affected. So high concentration of NaCl inhibit the plant's water uptake and sodium ion and chloride ion accumulated in the cytosol lead to the ion toxicity. As a result, photosynthetic rates are reduced leading to the energy depletion and accumulation of excessive reactive oxygen species. In order to, the objectives of our study is to study the impact of saline stress on morphological, biochemical, cellular and molecular parameters in the rice, to study the role of different antioxidant genes, transcription factors, cell death inhibiting BCL2 exudated X protein BAX inhibitor 1 and autophagy genes during the salinity and to understand the role of autophagy in tolerance during the saline stress. Print material and methods have been used to do, do its study. For morphological analysis, we have estimated the root length, shoot length and fresh weight for biochemical analysis 
and photosynthetic pigments estimation protein content antioxidant enzyme activity catalase superoxide dispiters and peroxidase enzyme activity was conducted and then for the cellular analysis the leaves were stained with the diap and dab for the deposition of the reactive oxygen species and nuclear fragmentation analysis and the molecular analysis and dna fragmentation was conducted here are the results of the, our studies the effect of salinity on the growth and physiological attributes so the root length and shoot length was observed in the control and 50 millimolar and 100 millimolar nacl concentration so the root length was increased as the concentration of the sodium chloride was increased while the shoot length was decreasing with the increased concentration similarly the fresh weight the effect of salinity stress on the antioxidant enzymes was also estimated so for the catalase enzyme the control the catalase activity was reduced while it was increasing with the increase in the nacl concentration and it is highest at the 100 millimolar nacl concentration superoxide dismutase this is also an antioxidant enzyme so antioxidant enzymes was increased sod activity was increased at 100 millimolar concentration similarly the peroxidase activity was increased Furthermore, to, to check the production of the reactive oxygen species during the saline stress in the cells, we have done the staining with the dab. Dab is a dye and it forms a brown precipitate with the reactive oxygen species dye like hydrogen peroxide. So when the rice leaves will strain with the uh, dab, so we have observed by the microscope that in the control plants there is no dab deposition it didn't form any precipitate in the control so further we have isolated the dna from the control and 50 millimolar and 100 millimolar treated uh, plant seedlings rice seedlings and then we have observed the dna fragmentation so control the dna was completely intact and it was size was more than 1000 base pair 1 kb later equal to the 1 kb later but at 50 millimolar and 100 millimolar concentration uh, it, it is moving in the gel so that when it is showing the some degradation at and some fragments furthermore we have i we have tested the different gene expression during the salinity stress so the genes responsible for the antioxidant enzymes like catalase 1 glutathione peroxidase and superoxide dismutase so these genes shows the upregulation during the nacl treatment as compared to the control similarly batch induced batch inhibitor 1 map kinase 1 and rookie 53 these genes also showed the upregulation during the saline stress as compared to the control. Furthermore, we have identified the seven. So finally, we can conclude that saline stress results from the accumulation of the sodium and chloride ions in the soil, leading to the reduced germination shoot and fresh weight. Leaf pigments, including the chlorophyll A, B, total chlorophyll and carotenoids and protein content decrease significantly under the increased sol stress. High salinity increased the catalase, SOD and peroxidase enzyme activity. DAB indicates the presence of higher ROS in the stressed plant and DAP staining suggests the higher salinity induced the nuclear fragmentation. Gel analysis suggested 100 mm NACL induces the DNA fragmentation that might finally lead to the cell death. Similarly, transcription factor MAP kinase 1 rookie 53 increased expression during the saline stress and Bax inhibitor 1 expression suggested it inhibits the saline induced, induced cell death. Further, the expression pattern of autophagy related genes significantly upregulated at a higher concentration of NACL compared to the control. 
The study suggests that autophagy, a crucial subcellular pathway, plays a vital role in the plant development and stress responses, including salinity. It helps the plants to survive during the stress by inducing the various stress responsive genes. Thank you for listening.